Samsung Galaxy A33 has been leaked in full specs alongside with renders before its launch event. Hey what's up guys, welcome to another video. So guys, Samsung Galaxy A series event is just two days away and we have seen plenty of leaks for the Galaxy A33, A53 and A73. Not only the unboxing of the Galaxy A53 which confirms that there would be no charger will be included inside the box of all the A series model but also its price and live leaks have arrived alongside in Kenya it has been on sale where you can purchase it. If you want to see that dedicated video its link is in the description in the cards you can check out that as well. Now today we have got the official press render for the Galaxy A33 which has been coming from a reliable leakster even plus which pretty much confirmed the design of the upcoming Galaxy A33 5G. Alongside with the leak renders, the full specification of the device has been leaked by a website Apollos, which confirms that it's going to be packing similar camera setup as the last year model. While talking about the official press render, the first thing we will be noticing that it's coming in three different color options. We have black, blue and a rose gold color option. That is pretty much similar to the Galaxy A53 which include an extra color which is the white one. Where as far as the front design is concerned, it's going to be coming with a similar 6.4 inch of Super AMOLED Infinity U display which is going to be protected by Gorilla Glass 5 protection and the front camera will be of 13 megapixel. Along with that, we are also going to see IP67 ring as well. With that, also the in-display fingerprint scanner support is available, which is not new because the last year model was coming with same spec sheet when we talk about the 4G model. Yes, you can say that the 5G model has the LCD display, but uh, as far as the 4G model is concerned, that was coming with an AMOLED display. And you know, the back is where we have the changes this year. Instead of the singular camera sensors, we are now going to see a square camera bump on the back side, which looks similar to the last year A52 and A72. Even this year, A53 and A73 are looking pretty similar to this design. Uh, it will be packing the 48 megapixel of a main sensor, 8 megapixel of ultra wide with 120 degree field of view, 5 megapixel of macro shooter, and 2 megapixel of portrait lens. Uh, nothing changed here, it's going to be coming with a similar camera sensor as the last year Galaxy A32. Internally, it will be coming with a 6GB and 128GB variant which is the only variant you will be seeing this year as well. Uh, with that being said, also we are going to see new processor which is the Exynos 1280. Uh, until now we don't know about this spec sheet but we do hope that it's going to be even better than the last year Demon ST process. Uh, moving forward, it also packs a massive 5000mAh of a battery with with 25 watt of fast charging. Unfortunately, I have told you earlier there is no charging brake to be included inside the box of the upcoming A series. Also, there is no headphone jack to be coming in the Galaxy A33, which is quite an unfortunate thing because I was hoping that Samsung could implement the headphone jack in their mid range category devices. And you know, one thing that is going to be appreciable from Samsung that it's going to give you Android 12 with One UI 4.1 right off the box, which is definitely the latest software right now. Along with that, it's also provide you a support for up to four years of software update, which means if you buy the Galaxy A33 5G today, the software will support you up to Android 16, which is quite a nice thing. No other Android brand is giving you such opportunity in the mid-range category. And you know, finally, if we talk about the pricing of the upcoming A33 5G, it will cost you around 379 euros. So guys, that is it. The Galaxy A33 5G will be having the same design as the last year Galaxy A32 4G. The improvement that are bringing this year A33 5G will be obviously, it's coming with a 5G support, AMOLED display for the 5G model. The other improvement is the Exynos 1280 processor, which is the new one. And also it's going to be having a four year updates. Other than that, there is no charger and no headphone jack. And yo, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your opinion on this device? Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Peace.